Hi guys, your girl Yammy is here at Magic Kingdom. I'm about to get on the ferry boat, but today we're gonna discuss pin trading. And we're gonna give you the ins and outs of pin trading and um, how to kind of a thing. And I've got my expert with me, my friend Kristen. She is the pin girl. So if I have any questions about pin trading, she's the one I go to and ask. So. I figured why not ask her some questions and you guys can learn a few things. So let's go over to Magic Kingdom and find a pin trading board and we'll start there. So now to pin trade, you buy one of these little lanyards, well you don't need a lanyard, all you need are the pins. That's all you really need and I saw you go to the Disney Character Warehouse store, you can buy pins there pretty cheap and then you can trade them here at the park. So that's your best bet is to go to the Disney Character Warehouse store. Otherwise you buy pins here for 15 bucks and up. There you can get them as low as $5 a piece. You can go to some of the thrift stores around the area. They sell pins really cheap and they do have Disney authorized pin traders at those stores. So first now we have our pins. Now we're gonna go trade. So we are here at a place with a pin trading board and there's a it's a board with pins on it So that's what we're gonna go check out next. This is what a pin trading board looks like and um, What Kristen's gonna do now is she's gonna look at the pins and see if there's any that she likes and She wants to trade with because she's got some to trade I'm gonna go for this one so I just take it off the board and then I put my pin on the board and there. That's it. Is that you right there? I can't see. I, I think it is, yeah. Okay. I'm just looking to see if I want any. I don't think I see any here. Okay, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is my pin girl, Kristen. She is the pin queen. So let me ask you. Um, when you're up there trading your pins, is there a limit on how many pins you can trade? The rule of thumb is two per cast member per person. Sometimes I've been able to squeeze in an extra here or there if you really, you know, if a board has a lot of good ones, sometimes they'll let you do like three. Some cast members will say two at a time and then they'll make you go to the end of the line and go back through if there's a line. Uh, really depends on the cast member, but the rule is two per person per cast member. Now, I per, day. Was... per day. Per day. Okay. Now I've noticed people with um, portfolios full of pins that they're sitting um, at the parks and they want to trade. Is that is that something that you can do? Are those the same pins that you're trading? Um. So they at Disney World they do allow the people to come with their portfolios with pins and sit out. I've seen them uh, most of the time outside the pin trading. Uh, shop in Frontierland and they are more avid pin traders. Their pins are higher end pins that you will not mostly find on the pin boards. They're very picky in what, they'll, what they want to trade. They'll say, hey, come look at my pins and they'll have you choose your pins that you like and then they'll go through your pins and they'll be like, oh, I don't like any of these. Um, and a lot of the pins on the boards here are the same pins over and over again. Um, but it is allowed to do that, but they're more high-end pins. And they are official Disney trading pins. Yeah. Because I, they can't trade our fake ones, can they? Who, the pin boards or no, the people? People. People. Well, people can trade whatever they want. I can have whatever I want and you can come trade with me. As long as I'm not a Disney but, cast member, I can trade whatever I want but with if, you. If you had like pins from Universal, you couldn't bring those here and trade with people? No, you can't trade um you have to have disney parks pins because they have disney pins at like box lunch i've seen some from walgreens i've seen some from target lounge you, fly has lounge so. fly has them you cannot trade those at the disney parks with disney cast members um some of the people that are sitting out may have your fantasy pins the lounge fly pins the box lunch pins uh and allow you to trade for those but official disney pins have to be official disney park pins got it Thank you very much. Let's go um, trade some more pins. Alrighty, let's do it. Alright, so we are now going into the Frontier Trading Post, and this is where you're going to find all the pins at Magic Kingdom. 
They're going to have every pin that you possibly could want is going to be in the store because they have nothing but pins. They do have some ears. Oh, look at the Winnie the Pooh ears. I know that's not pins, but look at the Winnie the Pooh ears. Adorable. I love them. I got that one. It came with my smiley. So we're going to stop at this first register when you first come in. That's where they're going to have the um, pin trading board. Oh, is it? Okay. During the day, sometimes they're outside in the front. We're doing this. All right. So here's this pin board, and then they have quite a few of them. But you'll find these ones here that are very hard to tell what they are. The Disney 100. Pins are all half price right now, plus another 20% off if there's if you find any you want. Now these here are straps. I'm not sure what they're used for. Oh, they're used for the these. Alright, so these pins, these here you can buy and you can stick pins to the ears or inside. Inside are a couple little other boards that you can stick pins to, but then you turn around and have to buy one of these straps. And these straps are $20, and the bag itself is $30. But if you don't like the Mickey shaped one, you can always get this one that you can stick pins to here, and then you can also carry like your cell phone, stuff like that in there. These ones cost $25 and this is also $25. They also carry magic bands in here. You can also get drinks, um, blankets, and if you want some rocks, you have some rocks. Now if you're really serious about pin trading, you can get you a little backpack and um, carry your pins. They've got these little sheets in here that you can stick the pins to so you'd have a lot of pins that can fit in there this one goes for fifty dollars but then you got a mickey up here that you can stick pins to and he goes for forty dollars so any store like the Emporium, they do carry pins in there too. Then the Mickey Mouse um, meet and greet area, there's a store there, they have pins there. That's where you can do pin trading. Um, so just different um, places you'll find where you can do pin trading. So you can always find a pin trader somewhere. But they're at every park. So you can have fun at all four parks, make this a a game, something fun to do. I think it's something fun. So I wanted to make sure you guys understood pin trading and knew how to do it. So if you go out and you venture off to do it, comment down below, let me know if you pin trade, where's your favorite place to trade, and um, what you like about pin trading. So that's it for this video. Now, I am a travel agent, so if you want to get a hold of me, you can call me at 407-494-1307, or you can email me at getbusyliving at makingmagicalmoments.com. It's right down at the bottom of your screen here. So, as always, if you want to join our Patreon account, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash yammy right here and um, you can join for as low as five dollars a month and um, you can just help sponsor some videos so as always thank you for being here and I love you all mm -hmm. bye